PARP inhibitors have become a very important tool for people who have ovarian cancer. Best established use in um, those patients with mutations in BRCA, otherwise known as um, DNA damage repair um, mutations. So we're learning that other mutations may predict sensitivity to the PARP inhibitors, specifically gene mutations involving RAD51C or RAD51D. We're also now learning that even for people who experienced progression on a maintenance PARP inhibitor, it still may play a role in the second line or later line setting, even after that resistance or that progression occurred. So retreatment with PARP inhibitors is important. And then finally, I think the biggest area is how do we expand the pool of people who can benefit from PARP inhibitors? And this is where that field of DNA damage repair mutations, homologous recombination signatures, loss of heterozygosity, all of these things are important. But in the uh, therapeutic space, it's where combinations are being explored. So PARP inhibitors plus immunotherapy, PARP inhibitors plus anti-angiogenesis agents, you know, all of these really point a direction towards broadening the eligibility of who could potentially benefit.